That works perfectly. Here comes a gust. You can see the LEDs lighting up. Whoa. That looks pretty cool. What's going on guys? How's it going? My homemade horizontal access wind generator. All right guys, what's it all made of? Well, we have our satellite stand. We have a 26 inch rim. Then we have some random cut pieces of wood. These are three quarter inch by one and a half inch. Then we have our water bottles. So these are the smaller water cooler bottles. They're not the ones that are reused. All right guys, so I'm using a ceiling fan motor as my low RPM generator. So technically it's an alternator. This is an old ceiling fan motor and I've just added some magnets to it. Now these were curved magnets and I've just cracked them in half. They were out of a blower fan motor. So I've ended up with four magnets. So I don't have enough magnets right now to go all the way around, but it does work. So we're taking the AC current from the ceiling fan here and then we're using a rectifying diode to get our DC. So we're gonna have to connect a capacitor to this to kind of smooth it out. More magnets, this would work a lot better. So it's actually pretty simple to do. No rewiring of the stator or anything like that just adding some magnets to it and then taking the output wires and figuring out which ones give me the highest current as you can see it spins and the magnets pass over the stator and it's very simple I could probably light up maybe 24 LEDs or even more, but to make this better, you'd add a piece of wood or 3D print something in here. And then we put neodymium magnets, preferably curved, or we could use flat and use 28 magnets. And then you'd glue your neodymium magnets to that. Then this would work much better. So this is just more of a demonstration. It's more of an experiment. So you can see how the magnets just pass by the stator and that creates our current. This is my first horizontal access wind generator build and I'm just playing around with it and experimenting with it. I'm thinking of maybe putting more water bottles on it and then add more magnets to the wind generator. So you're probably wondering how will you get the current from the alternator down and then out uh, along the TV stand. Well all I'd have to do is just add a commutator to the rim down here. Like in your steering column of your car for your horn, there's just a piece, a round copper ring, and then two little brushes touch against that. So that's the type of thing I'd have to put on here. The better way to do it is put your ceiling fan motor onto the satellite stand or whatever the post you're attaching this to, and then just put the rim on top of it. The original idea was to hook a belt around the sprocket and then attach it to a motor like this. You can see it does work, it's turning the motor, but it really isn't gonna put much out. Uh, the motor's spinning too slow, even though this is like a 30 volt motor out of a printer. There it goes. Starts to light up. Because it's a horizontal wind generator, I'm gonna use these water bottles. So basically it's going to be like a water wheel, but for the air. Well, it seems to work. Place it up against this glass table. Like it. There we go. So I'm going to cut this with the sawzall and then just go through it with a pair of scissors or, or tin snips or something. Let's go. So it's important to think of the amount of surface area you have and the amount of cogging on the generator. So at low wind speeds, if you put a strong generator on, it's not going to spin the generator. Using the satellite stand, So I gotta check this gear 
and it wants to go this way to engage. If it spins this way, then it won't work. I need this gear to turn. The idea is that you could build this in any conditions. So we don't need to weld, we don't need many tools. You can use a hand saw and a hand drill to be able to do this. So now we want to connect the smaller ones to the rim, screw them in this way, and then I'm going to make another one and screw them in. So let's do that. Put a piece under here, raise it up like that, and then we'll just screw these in. That's all we gotta do. So for another video, I'll move this over to a wind gear location on top of a hill and it'll actually work a lot better. But right now, there it goes, it's starting to light up. And they don't shut off completely. I have a smoothing capacitor on there, 16 volts, 3300 microfarads. You could experiment with this without the capacitor it would be flickering on off like really really noticeable but right now it's not so bad add a diode to the output of the alternator just put a three volt double a battery pack in there and then you can charge those batteries because it's powering up 12 of those top hat leds it should be able to charge nicad or nickel metal hydride batteries then you could run it to a photocell circuit and you could run some LEDs. So it's basically a giant um, garden light. <laughs> That's all this is right now until I modify it and make it a lot better. I have to add some more magnets and add some more water bottles. Let's build a solar panel. cells, bond welder, garage and a bond with batteries on. In today's video, 